Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Toxplicity and welcome back to the NBA 2K25 rebuild here on the channel. The other day we had the Chicago Bulls and today we get the Cleveland Cavaliers led by Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen and Darius Garland. This team is honestly structured really nicely. I don't think we have too many of our picks in the future. If we have a look here, I think we may own our first round picks, but I could be, well, I could be wrong. Uh, I can't control 2K today, apparently. But so we don't have a first round pick this year. We do next year to swap worse with the Timberwolves. So we need to try and be as good as we can and hopefully just build from the depth within. I don't think we're going to make any changes. We're just going to see you guys at the end of year one. And hopefully this team kind of just speaks for itself and plays really well. 58 and 24. And we did nothing. We did nothing to this team. I ran a nine man rotation. I don't think we had a backup center. And we went 54. Like, that's insane. Luca is your MVP. Rookie of the Year goes to Reset Share. Armin Thompson, Wemby, Armin Thompson, Jaron Jackson, Junior Clutch Player of the Year. That's that's new. Chris Finch is the Coach of the Year. Do we get anyone here uh, on any... No, we don't. We get Evan Mobley here on all NBA third team and all defensive first team. We get Jarrett Allen here on defensive second team as well, which is lovely to see. So I'm happy with that. We end up being the first seed. That's that's we didn't do anything. We didn't touch this team at all. Uh, Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland dominated the points for us. That's insane. Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Karis Levert, uh, Max Struess, Merrill, Okoro, Niang, and uh, Thompson apparently got some minutes. But yeah, interesting rebounds led by Jared Allen and assists by Darius Garland. So I'll be pretty pissed if we don't make it to at least the conference finals we draw the very difficult boston celtics here which is uh going to be a very interesting challenge so game one goes to us game two goes to boston game three goes to us game four goes to boston game five goes to us and then game six can we please just close them out please i know we're away from home and this boston team is probably going to take us to seven and beat us but yeah, we're going to get blown out on the road. Okay. That is that is rather unfortunate. So we're going to a game seven in round one. We're the one seed. I know we draw a Boston team that shouldn't be an eight seed, but come on, man. Their second quarter is absolutely insane. I think they might run away with this. And it looks like we're going... Oh, we win! We win by two! Okay, we're through to the second round and we draw the box who shouldn't be a fifth seed. Dame, Gary Trent Jr., Chris Middleton, Giannis, and Brooke Lopez. Bobby Portis Jr. is uh, the sixth man. So they have a really good team. They do have a really, really good team. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to the Bucks. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. And then game five goes to the Bucks. Can we please close them out? Please close them out. Please, please win in six. I know we're away again, and you guys love to go to game sevens, apparently. Um, it's a bit of a back and forth one, but it looks like we are going to go. We went to overtime, lost by one. Okay, game seven against the Bucks. This is going to be a terrible way to start the video if we just choke this. Um, let's go through. Hopefully, we can win at home. Good first quarter, decent second quarter. Third quarter is very strong, and the fourth quarter looks like we're going to put them to the sword. So we get through to the conference finals. Wow, okay, we're coming up against the Heat. And the Heat aren't uh, pushovers by any chance. Uh, we're going to just swap this around. I know we didn't change the minutes, but that's fine. I want a Koro starting. Game 1 goes to us. Game 2 goes to us. Game 3 goes to us. I want to actually see this Heat team. Richardson, Hero, Butler, Jovic, Bam, Terrorizia. Okay, very interesting team. And uh, we... Can we close them out in 5? Please, please, can we close them out in 5? Please. They're... They have a huge first quarter. This is insane. Don't tell me we're going to go to another seven series, man. They blow us out on our home court. Okay. Please, please, can we win in six? Please, can we win in six? And now we're away, so we're probably going to go to another game seven. Okay, we have a good second quarter. We have a good third quarter. Okay, please tell me we're going through to the finals. We are. Anthony Edwards and Evan Mobley, your Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals MVP. This has been very stressful. Um, the Timberwolves team here are an NBA 2K darling. I'm unsure if we're going to get through it or not, but it would be nice if we get through. Game one 
goes to the Timberwolves. Game two goes to the Cavs. Game three goes to the Timberwolves. And game four goes to the Timberwolves. Okay. Please, man. Please. Can we just win? I would love to just force a game seven in this series at least. Show some faith for the Cavs moving forward. They have a really good third quarter. It's a bit back and forth, but we are going to win by two. And we're going to force game five. Game six here is going to be at home. Please tell me we can win at home. We haven't really been winning at home, which is insanely sad. They have a really good second quarter. We have a really good third quarter. The fourth quarter is all that matters. And we are going to force a game seven against the Timberwolves. Okay. In our first season, this is. This is our first season. Okay. They're at home. Can we cause the big upset? They have a really good first quarter, like a really dominant first quarter. Our second quarter is pretty good. Can we come back in the third? Our third is just as good. The fourth is all that matters. And we win. We win. The Cavs win. The first, in the first year of us in charge, the Cavs win the finals. Anthony Edwards is single finals MVP on insane numbers. Wow, man. That was an incredible final series. That is insane. Donovan Mitchell, 25-4-4. Four and four. Yeah, this is this is a good team, but we're gonna make some changes in this offseason. We're not gonna leave it exactly the same. So we're one in seven, one in seven, one in six, one in seven. God damn. Okay, so player retirements, LeBron's retiring, Chris Paul, the usual suspects here. Uh let's go down to league meetings. We don't want any new rules to come into play, which is fine. Draft lottery here. We don't own our first round pick, obviously. Start signing. We want to Keep Kenny Atkinson around, and it looks like we are going to. Uh, and then NBA draft time. This is probably just going to be some second round picks, but it'd be nice to still get some youth in this team. Um, stuff we can possibly trade down the line. So a backup center. Uh, we did need a backup center, actually. So which one of these guys? DeAndre Jordan or Yao Ming? Uh, we will go... We'll go this guy. Done. Um, and then we have one more pick, so we can pick up a backup, backup power forward maybe, uh, a backup shooting guard. Yeah, I don't really know much about these guys. Okay, uh, let's go a backup shooting guard. Sure, done. So we pick up some rookies who probably won't play too much for us. They are a sixty-eight and a seventy overall, so not too great. No team or player options here and qualifying offers. We're going to, okay. Luke Travers is a Australian icon and <laughs> Marnie Bates, but uh, I think we're just going to let both these boys find new opportunities elsewhere. So we don't have anyone here. We have Karis Levert, who I would like to bring back. Um, that would be nice. And who else? We have JT Thor here and he's not interested in signing with us. Okay. Interesting. Let's have a look at our roster and just see what we need. So we need a backup point guard. Craig Porter Jr. played okay last year, but I think it would be nice to get a bit of an upgrade here at the backup point guard. Um, we have Merrill and Mitchell here. So Sam Merrill's okay. He is getting a bit older, kind of like Donovan Mitchell. So we could look to trade some pieces here. Jalen Tyson is uh, playing pretty good. So... Maybe it could be Isaac Okoro who we move on. George's Niang and, and Dean Wade, we're probably not going to keep around. Tristan Thompson, we do need a backup uh, center. So if we switch, if we go through here and we switch Jalen Tyson's position. Um, wait, we have to do this. If we have a look and see what happens if we move Jalen Tyson. He goes down to at the power forward. Um, does a Koro go up or down? He goes, okay. That's a bit annoying. Okay. So I think there's a few trades we can make. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is make sure we get Karis Levert. I think we can let Ty Jerome walk away. I'm going to renounce the rights on Ty Jerome and JT Thor as well. So we kind of have a bit of a clear cap sheet here. So we'll move through to moratorium day three. I might offer... There's no one here that I really want to offer a contract to. No one that I really want to take a flyer out on. So, yeah, we might be stuck unless we can find an upgrade. Um, at the shooting guard, it's just as bleak, man. Wow, that's 
that's insane. So we have Karis Levert, the backup shooting guard. What about the backup pull, uh, power power forward? Can't even talk today. Um, we got Kamara and a rebuild the other day. Yeah, this is this is rough, man. This is rough. <laughs> that's insane. Um, let's just see if we can get Kamara uh, and offer him a contract. I I would like to bring in Kamara. So we get Kamara and we get Karis Levert. I'm happy with that. Both those guys are coming in. And we also need a backup, a better backup center. Luke Cornett's there. Kavon Looney's always handy. I think we just offer Kavon Looney a contract and uh, see if he'll accept. So is he going to accept? We do. Okay, so he does. So we have a few options here now. So I will let... I might let look for a Craig Porter Jr. trade. But we have a few contracts we can move off of here, which we might look at trading and maybe getting some picks for. So Charlotte apparently are interested in Sam Merrill and Dean Wade. So two championship players that we're going to be sending out for some first round picks. Happy to do that and clear some space from our books here. And then we also have, so Craig Porter Jr. is here as the backup point guard. He doesn't have to play too much, but we do have Jalen Tyson, who I'd love to get some minutes to. Maybe we look to trade Struess, who was pretty good last year, but maybe we can look to trade him and play Jalen Tyson a little bit. And then we picked up Kamara, so we don't need Niang. And we also don't really need Tristan Thompson anymore. So let's see if we can get anything for these guys. Maybe a point guard, nothing really. We got Keon Johnson here and a pick swap. So um, we got a top five protected pick from the Grizzlies here, which... I actually don't hate doing. We get Jalen Wells, who could develop into something. Mm, potentially could find a backup point guard. We might actually do that. I like the idea of getting Case and Wallace in as the backup point guard. We're going to throw Craig Porter Jr., Georges Niang, and Michael Ajevon, who we picked up in the recent draft. I'm happy to throw in some of these picks that we've got as well, but let's see if they might be willing to make this trade. They're not... We have a lot of picks now, so I will throw in this lottery protected pick with the Heat. Will they accept this? They do. So we get up a good backup point guard now. So I think our roster is pretty much complete. I'm pretty happy with this. We could look to trade Max Struess still. I don't know what we'd want for Max Struess. I do want to play Okoro and Tyson a little bit more. Is there anything we could get for Max Struess? I did forget about trading him on to... Um, so Max Drews is earning 15 mil. We could just keep him, but I do want to change this team a little bit and make some, make a little bit of a difference. We can always get Terrence Mann in here. He's earning a little bit of money and, uh, he could potentially be a bit of an up, a backup for us. I don't hate that. We can bring in Kevin Herder, Luke Kennard, Dean Wade back. I don't really want to do that. We get two first round picks from the Jazz. Honestly, if they're stupid enough to do that, Jonathan Isaac as a backup power forward okay i'm i'm happy with that how long is he contracted for hopefully a little bit right a couple years at least maybe we have to uh, four years okay yeah i'm i'm doing this trade i don't know why 2k does that sometimes i'm happy with that that's a big off season for us we retooled we repositioned and we're very happy with what we've got so donovan mitchell's going down for some reason Everyone else is going up. I'm happy with how this offseason went. Let's go through year two. I'll see you guys at the end of year two. 61 and 21, an improvement for last year. Are we going to go back to back? It's insane how different these NBA simulations can be. Wemby is your MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Dylan Harper. Six men of the year goes to Armand Thompson. Back to back. Depoy is Wemby yet again. And Alex Saar, most improved. Clutch player of the year goes to Shea. And the Spurs actually get coach of the year greg popovich so they won two more games than us that's insane i actually cannot believe that they did that that's crazy um we get evan mobley here on all nba third team we get him on all the defensive first team as well and yeah moving through so we end up being the first seed yet again i'm in i'm just this team is just easy this is easy so yeah there are your stat leaders there are your rebound leaders there are your assist leaders, and let's see if we can get through these playoffs. So Atlanta, who do they have? Trey Young, Dylan Harper, Reese Escher, Jalen Johnson, or Kongwin, Dyson Daniels. 
that's actually a really nice core. I actually really rate that. We win game one, we win game two, we win game three, and we win game four. Okay, cool. So moving on to Charlotte. Charlotte beat New York. Uh, Charlotte have picked up. They got Lamella Ball. They got Merrill now. Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, Mark Williams, Rudy Gobert. Okay, so that's a bit of an interesting team. We win game one. They win game two. We win game three. We win game four. And game five goes to us. And we're through to another conference finals going up against the Pacers, who never really changed in these rebuilds. They got Kelly Oubre Jr. as a six man, which is good for them. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. Game four goes to us, and then game five goes to us. And we're through to a back-to-back -back final coming up against Luca and the Mavs and Evan Mobley, the Eastern Conference Finals MVP yet again. And they have Luca, Kyrie. They've got Hardaway Jr. back. That's insane. I don't think Dallas would ever want to see Tim Hardaway Jr. come back. And they got Draymond Green now with Clay. So they're turning into the Golden State Warriors. Interesting. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to the Mavs. Game three goes to us. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And we win. We win in five. Okay. That's insane. Um, I literally added Jonathan Isaac, Kaysen Wallace, and that's it to this team. And Donovan Mitchell is your finals MVP. Cool. The last season in charge is coming up. DeAndre Jordan, James Harden, Clay Thompson, Plumley. They all call it uh, the end. And we're going to reject all the new uh cba or new rules that might come in so do we have any picks in this draft it doesn't look like we do we have pick 30 okay so i think we can definitely make a big trade i think that small forward spot if we can find someone that would be really nice um who was our coach originally i forgot who it is but uh jj reddick is here we can uh win a potentially win a contract with him uh james ray goes here um kenny atkinson there he is we'll uh we'll bring him back i'm happy to bring him back he's coming back again and let's see um nba draft time i think we can pull off a big trade i think we've got the potential to maybe bring in if we go our pick 30 and say isaac okoro can we bring in someone at that small forward spot who's a big improvement? Derek Jones Jr. I wouldn't say he's a big improvement. Yeah, none of these guys really jump out at me. Mm. Two first round picks. Okay. I think we can uh I think we can potentially make a blockbuster trade. I think we just draft someone here at uh at number 30. There could be someone good on the board. Daron Reed is someone I've taken in previous rebuilds. Um, but there's no one really that's just jumping out at me. Patrick Beverly. Okay, let's take uh, let's take Connie Rooks. And that's our draft. So we can definitely use him in the trade. I think we can definitely build it some sort of crazy trade to... Okay, so we're bringing back Tyson. Uh... We'll bring back all these guys. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? The more the merrier. No qualifying offers. I think Jared Allen's a free agent. No, but Tristan Thompson is. Um, and Javon Carter. Okay, so we'll let those guys walk. That's fine. We've got a pretty much a full cap sheet. And I don't think we can really pick up anyone that good anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, we don't have Kevin Durant money. We've got about $5 million. So I think we look to build a trade. We propose a trade to maybe upgrade that small forward position. Even though Isaac Kokoro has been, has been great for us, I think we can definitely trade him. For our last season in charge, I'm going to talk to the Grizzlies about getting Cooper Flag. Now, this is not realistic at all. We're offering Isaac Okoro, Connie Rooks, Tomonte Kamara, and three first-round picks. We're overpaying, but this is the last season in charge. We may as well go big or go home, right? And they're not going to agree. Oh, damn. I thought they were potentially going to agree to that. Who else? There's no real amazing small forwards that I'm thinking about picking up. Like, Rese shares here, but I don't think that's someone I'm wanting to pick up really badly. Brandon Miller could be that guy. Like, would they accept this for Brandon Miller? They won't? Okay. That's fine. I didn't think they would. Um, 
It's a weird trade package. It's not the greatest trade package I've ever thrown together. RJ Barrett is not in our price range. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Caden John. Uh, wait. Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson could be interesting. Cam Whitmore. Yeah, none of these guys are really jumping out at me all that much. So I think we might have to just shelve this for now. Asar Thompson could be really cool, but I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Brandon Ingram is way too much money. Way, way, way too much money. Where are the Rockets? Where are the Rockets? Um, Have we gone past them? I think we've gone past them. There are the Rockets. Uh, do you guys have... You have Armin Thompson still. Would you accept a trade for Armin Thompson? They, okay. Okay. I've I've seen this done before. We'll throw Armin Thompson uh, in the small forward position. And I think that's all we're going to do. <laughs> that's insane. We just get Armin Thompson. They... Highway robbery. They stole all our picks and everything, which is completely fine by me. Uh, player progression, everyone's up. Karis LeVert and Kavon Looney are down a little bit, though. We could have looked for some backups. But honestly, we've won two in a row. I'm fine with going at it again and hopefully making it this time to a third consecutive NBA final series. We added someone uh, arguably an upgrade over... Well, not arguably. Is an upgrade over Isaac Okoro. This team looks really nice on paper. I'm very happy with what we've built. Okay, I'll see you guys at the end of Season 3. Season 3 has come to an end. Wemby is your MVP. Rookie of the year goes to AJ DeBansa. Tyler Hero is 6th player of the year. Wemby, Depoy. Most improved, KD Malak. And clutch player of the year goes to Lamelo Ball. Kenny Atkinson, coach of the year. I haven't won a coach of the year in a long, long time. So, do we get anyone on any of these teams? We actually don't, which is weird. Uh, we don't get anyone on all defensive teams either, which is a shame. But we are the one seed yet again. So the Cavs, if you guys want an easy rebuild to do, just do the Cavs. Uh, Mitchell, Garland, Mobley, uh, Armand Thompson. Rebounds led by Mobley, Allen, and Asar Thompson. Assists by Asar Thompson. So this team we built is crazy. I actually really love this team. It's insane. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through the Raptors for some reason. Uh, Jamal Sheed, Grady Dick, Laurie Markin, and Kevin Durant. Okay. When? When did they get When did they get those guys? Like, honestly. So we go up 2-1. Go up towards 2-2 now. Uh, go up 3-2. And we are going to game 7. Okay. I jokingly said we weren't going to get past these guys. But now I'm kind of worried. Now I'm kind of scared. Can uh, Donovan Mitchell and the boys get out of this? And it doesn't look like it. It looks like we might be going home. And uh, we talked shit and we lost. So in year three, we don't make it to an NBA final. But we got two championships in a row, which is absolutely insane. Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton. Pacers versus Timberwolves. And the Timberwolves win in six. Crazy stuff. Anthony Edwards is your finals MVP. So two out of three years, we won a championship. It's probably my most successful rebuild I've ever done. I try to do some new things by adding some new players to this team. And uh, the Raptors just, whatever, for whatever reason, they got Laurie and they got Kevin Durant. So that's just a dream team, apparently. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys next week for some more NBA rebuilds.